Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. We are going to be looking at cutscenes, simple cutscenes if you want to start your game off with a little over overview of your map, a little tour, or if you want to you'd be able to uh, script a little sequence between characters. Uh, something like that. I mean, this looks kind of overly complicated, but there's there's not a lot to it. We've got this green cube here and this will be our camera for the cutscene and we've got this red cube here which will be the camera's target and we're going to keep that in the center of the screen at all times just so we we can kind of aim the camera around and these cubes they have no brains or anything attached with them so we're all good the first thing you want to do is you want to set up your path I've got two paths here because I've got you know one, one for the camera this is this one that's a bit further back and the second camera that's a bit lower down and a bit further ahead that's our target path and you just want to send them off, add your points and if you go into the properties of a path into properties, path and you can set it to a curve path and it makes it a little bit smoother I've got it set to play once and I've just upped the speed because it's a relatively long path you can kind of see behind that cube there there's the points, the amount of numbers and stuff going on everywhere this uh, this logic cube here is what contains all the business stuff uh, for now we'll ignore these uh, vectors you can uh, look up vectors or I might, I might go over it at some other point they're, re they're relatively simple to figure out but this is where it all starts so if we do, we're going to start off with a, a logic saying once and I've set up a, a boolean variable a global variable called cinematic and we're going to set that to false to begin with but then once, only once as well because we don't want it to repeat itself every time you walk through this area we're going to detect the player I'm just using this I'm still using this same global hero but you can use the player tile set or the in world picker and once it's been detected we're going to set it to true and when it is true this is our first line of checking when it is true we're going to do a letterbox, I like doing the, the letterbox if you go into uh, the second page, camera, camera effects letterbox, it gives it that little, little, little extra look now the rest is all child and we're going to play a sound, I've just uh, created a little music so it plays a little background music when the camera's going and here, are, this is where my vectors come in, you don't need this but you can display a button if you want to display it at the bottom of the screen this is so we can add in a line to skip the cutscene if that's something you want, if it is a longer cutscene and you don't want to force people to watch it you can get them to skip it through this so that's what this is and I've got PC support as well this is the skip line itself when the A button is pressed or I've got a space bar you can you can obviously have whatever you want and we're going to set that to do a global that uh, turn that cinematic variable off under this uh, this is where the camera starts coming into it then we are also going to set our character brain and we're going to turn it off so enabled equals false that just turns it off so we can't uh, move around and whatnot when we're in the middle of the cutscene this is the actual camera so the first one the green cube that is our camera so we're going to do that cube I'm going to do a first, cu first person camera without controls and I've just got it to ease between transitions and then we're going to get the red cube to move along the path and you'll find the path in modifiers after you've gone to move and it'll be in the second page path or on path rather and we've set that to that uh, lower down path that was slightly further ahead and you want to use with flying which is uh, another modifier and then I've used at speed which is another modifier <laughs> and then I set it to just below one uh, so that's got our target moving already so what we're going to do is after, which is a, a time and a logic on the second page, after a countdown timer of half a second, that first, the green cube, the camera cube, is going to move on its selected path, which is the first path, with flying at the same speed. And again, after another after, countdown timer of 5, uh, 0.5 seconds rather, we're going to get that cube to look at the red cube. So that will be its target and that will keep that red cube in the center of the screen at all times. And uh, for my sake I've got the cube, the camera, 
to detect a logic cube which is way off towards the end of the the path it's uh, it's a little bit before where the path actually ends and then underneath this cube as a, as a secondary child link we're going to do a duration timer of one and a half seconds and we're going to get it to fade which will also find it if you go into create interface and just get to fade and we've set that to point 0.2 of a transition time. It's very quick, it just blinks. And next, uh, below that fade, we're going to do another after, a duration timer of one second. And we're going to set that cinematic uh, back to false. And then underneath, I've just put these checks in where we're going to say when the global cinematic is equal to false. Um, I've got my, my other variables for my global map. Uh, to set to false so it doesn't default to the other camera and it goes back to the player's camera instead so you can ignore this line and just child this one under the line 23 and just set our player's brain back to enabled and that's pretty much it it's quite simple for uh, I think for this purposes I'll go into the properties of the target and I'll turn it on to visible so you can kind of see uh, what the target queue is doing uh, while the cutscene is on. So I just choose a character here and we'll get started. If I walk into the trigger zone and you can see the camera will track that cube as it goes around. Uh, that'll be it from me. I'll leave this play. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.